What could be more appropriate dessert for a gardener than a carrot cake? First thing you need is two cups of sugar. Two. Next, I need one and a third cups of vegetable oil. Perfect. This cake is good. It doesn't use butter, it uses oil. Three eggs. I'm just gonna turn this mixer on. Add the eggs. Teaspoon of vanilla. Okay, that's the wet ingredients. Now the dry ones. So I need two and a half cups of flour. I'm putting it in a sieve because I always sieve the dry ingredients. Two teaspoons of cinnamon. Two teaspoons of baking soda. One and a half teaspoons of salt. I'm just gonna sift all that together. This just mixes it and it makes sure that if there are any little things in the flour that you don't want in your cake. That's it. On low speed. Just add the dry ingredients slowly. You don't want the flour to clump in the cake. But remember, this is the point you don't want to overmix it so the flour doesn't get tough. Perfect. Okay. A cup of chopped walnuts. One cup of raisins. It's a really chunky, hearty cake. I love it. It's one of my favorites. Okay, that goes in. And then to make sure the raisins and walnuts don't sink to the bottom of the pan, I'm going to put in a tablespoon of flour and just toss them around. Just fold them in by hand. You don't want to overmix the dough, so. And now I'm going to add the carrots and pineapple. So it's one pound of carrots, grated. It's actually a great way to get carrots into your kids. Half a cup of chopped pineapple. It's like old-fashioned carrot salad, pineapple and carrots. And just fold those in. It's a really thick batter. It takes a little work to fold it in. I'm going to put half in each pan. It's going to be a two-layer cake into the oven 350 degrees for about an hour. I'm gonna make a classic cream cheese frosting. So I need three quarters of a pound of cream cheese, half a pound of butter. I'm just gonna combine them, don't whip them. And one teaspoon of vanilla. And a pound of confectioner sugar. If you're worried about lumps in the confectioner's sugar, just sieve it before you put it in. Nobody needs lumpy icing. Okay. And that's it. I'd say Joe and I have a really great treat. He's been working hard in the garden, and I've been working hard in the kitchen. We deserve it.